So in this video, we just shall look at how uh, we are going to solve our end coins problem with the help of our uh, backtracking algorithmic technique. So backtracking algorithm technique, what it does is that it just identifies a smaller component of the solution and then it just keeps on moving towards the solution, right? So for example, a smaller sub problem will be solved and the solution will be found and then it just keeps on moving on to the next step. So here, what it does is that it just keeps on traveling uh, in the particular step and if the particular problem is not being found in the particular component, what it does is that it just backtracks to the previous component and then starts working in a different direction. So this is how your backtracking algorithm works. Right. So backtracking algorithm, what we will do is that we will just construct a state space tree diagram for it. And then with the help of the state space tree diagram, we will solve the particular problem. So today what we are going to do is we are just going to look at our n queens problem over here. So let us look at the n queens problem description. Right. So n queens problem, what it says is that we are just going to place n number of queens in our uh, n cross n board. So which means that if you are going to place uh, four number of queens, we have to place it inside four cross four board. So the condition over here is, so I have to place the queens in the board such a way that none of the queen meets each other. So we just know that the queen can uh, travel diagonally, uh, horizontally and vertically, right? So uh, we have to place four queens in four uh, cross four boards such a way that none of the queen uh, meets each other. Right. So we just shall uh, construct a space space tree diagram and then what we shall do is that we just shall solve it with the help of a backtracking approach. OK, so what we have to do is that so initially what we will be doing, we will be mentioning the initial state. For example, here uh, we just shall consider this as our board. OK, so check, check a board. So it, uh, it consists of uh, four cross four uh, uh, boards, right? So what we are going to do is that we just have to place four queens over here. So initially uh, there are uh, no uh, queens placed because we just call it as the initial condition. So generally uh, our initial condition will be the root of the state space tree which we are just going to construct. So this is the initial condition. So what is the possibility for me to place the first queen? So for example, I could place it in the first pocket or second pocket or third pocket or fourth pocket. So here I could place it in any one of the uh, boxes. So what I do is that so these are all the different opportunities for me to place the first queen, right? So what I do, I just uh, construct an uh, tree based on it. So for example, okay, so this is the one of the option where I could place my uh, queen in the first position, right? So next thing what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, construct another box stating that I could place my uh, second queen over here. So I could place my second queen over here. So the, sorry, first queen in the second place. So this is one of the option. So the next option will be I'll be placing it in the third position, right? So the next option will be So I can place it in the fourth position. So these are the uh, first step or this is the first option where I could place my uh, first queen. So here what I have done is that I just have placed my uh, first queen in the first box. So what is the next thing which I have to do is I just have to move on with the next queen placement. So here the next step I just have to uh, place the next queen. Okay. So here just take a look at it. So here what I can do is that I cannot place it over here. Why? Because it will be covering uh, horizontally. So the next thing here it will be uh, covering diagonally. So what I have to do I just have to place my queen over here. Right. So this is one of the opportunity and uh, I can place my queen over here. So this is my second opportunity. So what I do I just draw uh, two boxes. Okay, so here uh, we just know that already we have placed a queen over here. So the opportunity for placing my second queen is, so I could place my second queen over here and then I could place my second queen over here. So these are the two different opportunities for me to place it, right? So here just take a look at it. So uh, here I cannot place my queen over here. Here also I cannot place it. So the only place for me to place it is in this particular box. So I have only one option. So what I do, I just draw a single box. Okay, so my queen is over here. Since we cannot place it in three different options, I am just placing it over here, 
right so the next level what i have to do i just have to construct it for this right so here uh, again i could not place it in uh, these three places i could place only over here so what i do i just mark uh, i just place my queen right so already the queen is here i cannot place it in these three locations so just i'm just mark placing it over here okay so here if you just take a look at it we are just having uh, two op options to place so here i can place it and here i can place it so what i do i just draw a couple of uh, possibilities right so for our queen is already here so what i am doing is that i am just placing it over here and the, the queen placing it over here so these are the two different opportunities for me to continue right so here uh, this is my second queen which is being placed so what i have to do next is that i just have to place my uh, third queen okay so let me move it a little bit okay so what i have to do i just have to uh, play uh, look whether there is an opportunity for me to place it over here so here i cannot place it here because this queen will uh, match these pawns so one of the free pocket is this one okay so this two uh, will be matched uh, this will be um, attended by or this will be met by this particular queen so i cannot travel further so i'm just leaving it as such so here there is no possibility for you to place it in this entire third uh, row so third row we cannot place it so what we do is that we just leave off the entire option so here we have to look at the option so whether you could place it over here no you cannot place it this particular mean uh, queen will meet so here we could place it uh, he, this cannot be placed over these two places so only place which you could meet is this place so what i do i'm just marking it out right so the first queen is over here second queen is over here so third queen i cannot place it in these two points so i am just placing it over here right so here i am just going to take a look at it so here i cannot place it in these two locations but i could place it in this particular location so i am just traveling further so the first queen the second queen is over here and the third queen i am just placing it over here so why because is that uh, none of it is being met so right now uh, what i have to do i just have to make this particular location right so here i just have to look for the opportunity whether can i place it so here i cannot place it in these two location and this location also i cannot place but this one is free so i could place it over here so i am just placing it right so here the queen is there second queen i am just placing it over here so third queen i cannot place it in these two location and also in this location so i am placing it over here so this is one of the opportunity so similarly whether there is an opportunity for uh, it to be placed so for example here uh, you cannot place it over here but this particular place you could place so what i do i just draw i just travel further right so here it is my first queen my second queen my third queen i cannot place it in these two locations but i could place it over here so here whether there is an opportunity for me to place so here these two places i cannot these three places i cannot place and also this one i cannot place so i cannot travel further in this particular path so what i do is that i just uh, leave this particular path again right so moving on to this path so i am just going to place my fourth queen in my fourth row so here i cannot place it over here here also i cannot place it here also i cannot place it why because these three is covered by this queen and then this particular option is also covered by this queen so i cannot place it over here right so the next opportunity for me to place is the next option i'm just taking it out right so whether it could be placed or not so here uh, for example uh, here whether i could place it yes i could place it over here so what i do i just uh, mark it out right so my first queen is over here my second queen is over here my third queen is over here and my fourth queen i'm just placing it in the uh, third position right so right now uh, none of your queen meets each other so likewise you just check for this particular option also so whether can, can i place it over here so here i cannot place it in these two locations i cannot place it but here i could place so what i do i just do it right so our queen is over here so the next queen is over here next queen is over here so in the fourth queen what i do i just place it over here so that uh, none of the queen matches so here again i am just looking at it so here i am just again looking at it so here i just have three options left so i cannot place it over here here also i cannot place it so i am just leaving it off so this is how uh, this is the output for your uh, particular uh, for n queens problem so here we just have considered four queens so we, here it is a output for the n queens problem so this is how we just solve our n queens problem with the help of our backtracking method